What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. I'm trying to keep it a little bit quiet because everyone's sleeping right now. I have work at about 7 o'clock, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just uh, looking at some comments that I have on YouTube, and then I also have to get ready by making my pancakes in the morning, so I have a pretty busy day ahead of me. I have work from like 7 to about 3. Have um, have to do some likes today as always, and then also do some kettlebell swings. I think. Let me double check. That. I always forget. I mean, jeez. Ooh, okay, so today's gonna be very, very interesting. So today I have to do back squat, low bar, three sets of five, deadlift, good mornings, planks, and then 15 kettlebell swings, EMOM 10, dual bells. So I have no idea exactly what that means, but it'll be interesting because I'll have a lot of my teammates there that will be helping each other. So I'm gonna be doing that today. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching my videos. I'm about to go make some pancakes. Let's do this. All right, so as these pancakes are being made right now, some of you may not know, but this is like a ritual for myself. I always eat at least one of these things that my grandma makes. These are so good. They're called, well, they don't really even have a name. They're just ice cream that she makes, and it's basically almond milk, coconut, a little bit of sugar, and um, I think really that's it, like a stick. <laughs> But these are so good with, oh yeah, it has cinnamon at the bottom. So we're gonna finish up making these, eat one of these, probably watch a YouTube video or something, and I'll show you guys pancakes afterwards. All right, so we just finished up making the pancakes right now, guys. So what we're about to do right now is probably gonna add some maple syrup, sugar-free maple syrup. So I'll show you what exactly that is. It's this right here. Unreal. If you haven't gotten this, try it out. It tastes just like maple syrup. Let's see the macros on this or the calories. So for those of you who are tracking, this is only 15 calories, which comes to about two ounces. So I'm gonna do about two servings of this, which comes to about four ounces, all right? Just because who doesn't love maple syrup, right? Now that's about two servings, 30 calories for all that, all right? So I'm gonna add that, and then of course, we cannot forget the sprinkles. All right, add some sprinkles on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those pancakes. So I'm gonna eat these pancakes right now, walk my dog, head out to work, and I will see you guys after I eat these pancakes. Mm. All right, so now that everything's done, I'm gonna grab my lunch right here. Have about 10 ounces of chicken, and also about two servings of vegetables in here and also have about two apples, all right? So I'm gonna bring this all into my car. What's going on guys? So I'm on my way to work right now and from the last clip, if you're wondering why I have about 10 ounces of chicken and only about two servings of vegetables and very minimal amount of carbs, stick till the end of the video because that's something that I really wanna talk about today. Um, and at the end of the video, we're gonna talk about what I've been doing with my nutrition, what I've been doing with my diet and what I hope to do in the future. So on my way to work right now, get everything done then go to the gym. I'll see you guys after work. What's going on you guys? So I just finally got out of work. I am pretty tired, not gonna lie. I've been up since six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. You guys saw from the beginning of the video and just walking around all day at work, just doing different things from like seven in the morning till like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's just really, really tiring. But right now I just came home and I got this in the mail, which is pretty cool. Um, BPI Sports sent me this right here. Uh, it's one MR Vortex, so one more rep and I guess it's the same exact thing that I had last time. It's watermelon freeze, um, but I see right here that it has a lot of niacin, which is something that I'm very sensitive to, so I'm gonna take maybe a scoop and a half, maybe just one scoop because niacin makes my face break out really bad. Um, right now, I actually just got back, so what I actually got in the mail as well is something very, very cool. So for those of you who are really interested in you know, just using technology and maybe saving some space by using like different um, USBs, 
So if you go to geek.com, they actually send you mail of different deals that are going on, which is really cool. And right here, what I got is this two terabyte little USB, and it was about $20, and usually that costs a lot of money. Two terabytes of memory is a lot. If you know from using the computer or anything like that, that will definitely cost a lot of money. And I got it for $20, and it came with shipping and everything like that. So if you go to geek.com, Definitely recommend it. You can get a lot of stuff for free and for a very cheap price. I'm on my way to the gym in about probably 20 minutes or so. Today's gonna be legs. It's gonna be a long day. Three sets of five, I believe, or five sets of three. I think it's three sets of five. No idea, but I will see you guys once I get to the gym. All right, you guys, so I'm in my car about to go to the gym, and right before I go, I kinda wanna try this pre-workout. It's not like amazing, but it tastes all right. The best part of coming to the gym is when you come and you get a awesome parking spot. Check it out, like right there. Look how close I am. That means less cardio. Quality! All right, so just got to the gym, about to warm up. Of course, gonna put on my knee sleeves and all my pants and my, not my pants, I already have pants on. Gonna put my shoes on, gonna put my knee sleeves on. Gonna start using the voodoo wraps, gonna start foam rolling and whatnot. If you guys have any questions about the voodoo wraps, just comment down below and I'll try to go over it with you next video or something like that. But gonna do some squats today and let's warm up. So doing that right now on the fourth rep, bar rolled up my shoulders and it almost fell over my head. I'm not sure if you can really see it that well, but that was close, that was close. But I got it, five reps, 305, feeling good, deadlifts.
what is going on everyone so thank you so much for staying till the end of this video what I wanted to talk about is how my workout went that was really hard really intense during that squat I almost failed it but ended up grinding it through I'm pretty happy with that conventional is feeling all right right now just still getting used to it really uncomfortable I'm um, just because I'm so used to pulling sumo but hopefully for these next couple of weeks it's gonna get better and better and I'll pull conventional at my next meet so so what I want to talk about is what I'm doing differently with my diet and how I'm tracking my macros okay so first things first I am NOT tracking my macros the only thing that I'm tracking is the amount of chicken or the amount of liquids that I put into my pancakes and stuff like that I'm not actually keeping track on my fitness pal I'm not counting calories I'm not counting anything now the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to have a better relationship with food. Growing up and being overweight, food was such a struggle for myself that I was never able to track how much food I was taking, therefore I was overweight. After Now after losing so much weight and tracking all my macros, I'm so used to counting everything, making sure that I am eating a certain amount of grams, okay? Now what I want to do now is just have a better relationship by not tracking macros, not having to worry about how much calories I'm taking in or how many calories I'm taking in sorry and I want to make sure that I can enjoy my life I don't have to worry about calories or anything like that I want to enjoy what I'm doing what I've been doing is just making sure that I'm taking in a good amount of protein that's the only thing that's different about my diet so what I've been doing differently is I've been eating what my body tells me that I'm hungry I'm making sure that I'm not binge eating and I am not worrying about how many calories I'm taking in I'm just eating when I'm hungry and the only thing is that I make sure I'm taking a lot of protein. That's the only thing that's different. So that's the only thing that's different. Thank you all so much for watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And don't forget to stay healthy, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Eric Mandeville, I'm commanding all them motherfuckers out there to watch your shit. Yeah, I'm here with Eric Mandeville, the man, the motherfucker himself. <laughs>